For anyone who's active, even a simple little injury can be devastating. And here to help us prevent some of the most common athletic injuries is Dr. Mark Addix, former NFL player as well as orthopedic surgeon at Memorial Hermann Hospital. Welcome back to the show. And we're going to start with an email from Rebecca in Stillwater, Oklahoma, who writes, Dear doctors, my son is very athletic and tore his ACL playing football a couple of months ago. He's been doing physical therapy while continuing to play sports, but now it looks like he may have to get surgery. What does the ACL surgery entail, and what is the typical recovery time? So, I mean, ACL surgeries don't take very long. It takes no more than an hour, an hour and a half, and the recovery time is about six months. I mean, what we're waiting for is the healing of the new graft to form a new ligament. So that's about what it takes. The one thing I want to address is she talked about him continuing to play sports while he was trying to heal. Now, that can be problematic. I mean, when you're playing with an ACL injury, you can have further injury, you can injure other things, which will just lead to you being out of your sport for that much longer. And is it even worse as a child if you've torn your ACL to keep trying to play through it? Well, I mean, you're, the cartilage in your knee is all you have. Right. And so when you have an ACL injury and you continue to play sport, you, you're, you're really risking arthritis at a very early age. We have an animation here that if you could walk us through. So th this is showing a knee, and that's taking a little piece of bone from the kneecap and a piece of bone from the shin with a strip of the patellar tendon. That's called an, a BTB autograft. And then you drill a hole through the shin bone and the thigh bone, and you run this graft with bone on each end up into the bone. And so you can see what's happening here is you're putting the graft on, and we have little guide wires that pull it up into the joint, and then you actually take screws and you fix it on each end, and then your bone grows into your bone, blood grows into that ligament, and it creates a, uh, a brand new ligament. Because it's a stabilizing ligament for the knee. And that's when you right. lose that stabilizing ligament, that's when things can go wrong. That's why whenever you go out and you see people get injured on the football field, you know, the trainers or the doctors are always out there pulling on the knee. They're trying to feel if it's loose. Yeah. You know, I had, a, I had a patient, his name is Andrew, and he's, a, he's an offensive lineman, which is what I was. Of course, I have a lot of love for this kid. And he, uh, he actually injured himself, tore his ACL, didn't even tell his mother. Oh. And then he went back on the field, continued to try to play, and then he tore his meniscus as well. Jeez. And we did that exact procedure on him, which is, is called the autograft procedure. And lucky for us, we sent our cameras to get a close-up look at how Andrew's surgery went. So what we're gonna be doing today is making a new ACL. You can't fix an ACL, they just don't heal very well because the blood supply is not very good, so you actually make a new one. And so we make an incision from about here to about here. We're harvesting the middle third of the patella tendon, and that's what we make our ACL out of. Now we've got to harvest the bone blocks. You take one from the shin and one from the kneecap. That way, you're fixing the patient's bone into the patient's bone. It heals very, very quickly. That is a strip of patella tendon, and then two bone blocks, one on each end. And then we're gonna make it look just like an ACL. And then the last thing you do is you close the skin. Now what we do is we go in with the arthroscope. So you just make a little small incision. It's less than a centimeter. And then we come more towards the center of the knee. And then there's this torn ACL here. We've removed the uh, torn ACL, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill two tunnels, one in the thigh bone and one in the shin bone, so that we can put our new ACL in. Then we have to take a screw and put it on the shin bone too. And that is a new ACL. 